Hello everybody and welcome to the Academy for Women's Empowerment. My name is Ferenikki and I am a coach for women empowerment. This channel is all about helping women to believe in themselves and believe that they can be, do and have anything that they really want. And I'm going to put up new videos every Wednesday and Friday, so make sure to subscribe to get notified. The subject for today's video is how can we make ourselves happy? It's a question that we probably have spent a lot of time thinking about and I should, I probably have done that too. And I have four ways that I can share with you today on how to make ourselves happy. So based on my experience and uh, working with lots of women, I see lots of us um, that we have been conditioned to think that if we have this, we're going to be happy. So we put our, our dreams and hopes and happiness into other people's hand. So for example, we say, if I have this beautiful body, I'll be happy. If I have this much money in the bank, I'll be happy. Or when I have that much money in the bank. Um, or when I have this perfect relationship with my partner, then I'll be happy. So we make our happiness conditional to external circumstances that we cannot control. So the first step is really to take our power back and stop victimizing ourselves and really make ourselves um, the captain of our life and realizing that we are the only ones responsible for our own happiness, right? That's the first and most important step that we are responsible for, for our happiness. And of course, at the moment we are in, you know, unprecedented circumstances with COVID and how um, much restricted we are. We can't do the things that we used to do, like travel and um, perhaps we're restricted financially in, in all different ways. But if we can manage to be happy now, imagine what will be like when we get out of this. Because our happiness is not uh, determined by external circumstances. Happiness is a choice and we make that choice for ourselves and nobody else is responsible for our own happiness. So that's rule number one. The second way is to listen to our soul more than we listen to other people around. Because our parents, our teachers, people around, our friends, they have their own interpretations of happiness and they have their own um, beliefs about that and about themselves. So it's very important to really um, turn off the volume externally and turn on the volume internally and really tune into our soul and listen. Um, maybe, maybe we can do that five minutes per day uh, before we go to bed or five minutes in the, in the morning when we wake up, but really tune in to our soul and listen how like we can ask questions like how can i serve you today what would make you happy today what would bring you joy today what can i do for you and when we ask those questions things will, will come up um, and we need to act on those so you know everyone has their own thing but we need to silent the external voices to listen on the inside so that's very, very important to have a connection with our own soul. The, the more connected we are with ourselves, the more happy we are. Because very often we think that, oh, there are all of these people that make me feel sad or angry. And all of those people are never responsible for our own sadness or anger. We are the one responsible for because everything around us is a reflection of what is happening within us. I didn't say that, ancient Greek philosophers said, <laughs> said uh, that quote, that everything around us is a reflection of what is happening within us. So if we want to change our external world, we need to change our internal world and be in charge of it. So that's the second step. Third step is to really do every day for one or two or three hours per day, something that really fills me up, whether that is singing, or that is writing or drawing or dancing, whatever that is for you, 
tune into your soul and listen what does your soul need today and just spend an hour or two just do that for you for nobody else because if we are fulfill if we're full from the inside then we have a lot more to give we have beautiful feelings we can be the great the great um uh, the best daughter that we can be we can be the, the best mom we can be for our children but if we don't take the time to really um feel good from the inside then we have nothing to give to other people and then we go into this downward spiral of misery and anger and sadness and of course it's normal to feel like that every now and then but if that is a, a habit if that's an emotional place we go to then this is not a healthy a healthy place to be in the long run right so yeah choose something that really lights you up that really makes you happy and joyful for me is reading reading philosophy or reading uh, self-help books makes me happy creating videos makes me happy about these topics so yeah, take care of yourself from the inside by doing something that brings you joy. So that was the third thing. And the fourth thing is to really be grateful every day, every day, because it is normal to have this. We all have this part of human nature, which is the ego, right? And the ego is never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever satisfied. The ego always wants more, wants more money, more fame, more success, wants more love, but is it comes from an ego place and it's not healthy. So we need to understand that, put that aside, understand it, but put it aside, not, not spending too much time with that and really focus on gratitude because we have a lot more than other people do. Being happy with even even though we might now due to covid maybe have less than before financially or maybe we are more restricted than before but if we really get to enjoy every day if we get to enjoy the morning that we that, that we that the, the sun is rising and we are still alive and we get to be part of this incredible time in history of human of humankind um, it, it's what a gift that is, right? There's always two sides of the story. You can look at it from a side of, oh, shit, the economy is destroyed, uh, people are dying, and we are in the, in, in the middle of a mess. Or you can say, like, whoa, we're in the middle of transformation, and humankind will never be the same again. We'll never be the same again after this whole COVID situation. So it really depends on which lens we look at it from. Yeah, so those were the four ways to make yourself happy every day. Um, so if, if I can summarize it all again, so the first one is to really take responsibility for your own happiness and don't give your power away to other people or external circumstances to make us happy, to make us happy rather than being ourselves responsible for our own happiness. Number two is to really tune into our soul and listen to what our soul needs and wants every single day. Number three is to um, do something every day for one or two hours that really makes us happy and joyful, um, whether that is painting or dancing or writing. And number four is to be grateful and keep a gratitude journal every single day. Find something to be grateful for. And I know this sounds cliche, but it's like so, so important because there are other people that have a lot less than, than we do. And and they there's always a space for gratitude. There's always space for love and happiness. And we are all capable of bringing that energy into our lives. So I hope you found this video very uh, useful and valuable. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Friday, all about women empowerment. So, and also I have a group, a, a free group, a Facebook group that is called the Academy of, Academy of Women's Empowerment, um, and you can join for free. So 
See you very soon and have a wonderful evening.